Hi, it's John. It's the 25th of February 2015. And uh, this is a little view not far from my house. And somebody's just getting some pheasant pens ready up there. They breed pheasants and they're using that field this year by the looks of it. Quite a lot of work involved setting up the pens. Don't know where the pheasants have started laying yet. But, you know, the weather's turned and my chickens have started laying a bit better now. I've been to a lot of meetings just lately. Um, went to one on Tuesday night about global warming. And things that cropped up was how many man hours are there in a gallon of petrol? Apparently there's 600 man-hours in a gallon of petrol. A man can um, a man can work at about 250 watts. And uh, so the gallon of petrol is equivalent to um, uh, 600 of those. So a gallon of petrol, and that, that would have about... Uh, Six hundred divided by four, one hundred and fifty, isn't it? So that's one thing that's cropped up. I don't know what I feel about global warming. I mean, in, in a way, it'll be a relief once all the petrol has run out, won't it? Lovely how a bit of red really picks things up. That's uh, red in a predominantly green landscape, tractors and things. Yeah, I also went into a Steiner sort of um, talk and they were saying how um, the human being is the only thing that you're born and then you sort of you carry on and carry on, sort of self-actualization through art, he was talking. You know, so if you, if you were creative in any way, you can, you can get more creative and more creative. So you can explore your creativity more and more. It's quite interesting. I suppose that ties in with what I was saying before about being a real person, about feel, feeling like a real person. Um, to feel like a real person, you know, you have to either be sort of creative and sort of um, feel fulfilled or be able to contribute to society. Uh, if you've got a special skill that you can contribute to society, uh, then, then you um, can feel valued and feel more like a real person. Um, it is quite important to sort of feel good about oneself though, isn't it? House down there with solar panels. It's a good idea. Our solar panels are, well, they're working. I think the battery's working, but it's not actually recording how much I'm saving. But the battery is a really good idea. Because um, you save five kilo, it's got a capacity of five kilowatts. And uh, when the sun doesn't shine, it uses it up. So, say you get a cloudy bit at lunchtime, you can use it up and then a bit later on, charge it up again if the sun comes out. So there's talk about global warming and batteries, nuclear power stations. I'm afraid that I am one who just thinks, oh, we better get on with life. Um, I mean, I mean, we may have a big lot of wars over land and things like that, but we can't worry about that, and I don't think there's going to be any stopping man carrying on the way we are. All the hedges have been flailed down now, and there's someone flailing at the moment, been flailing for a few days. They've got a mammoth tractor 
And I suppose if you've got a bigger tractor, you can have a bigger edge cutter. And you also have a bit higher. Oh, here comes a car now. Aeroplane up in the sky. I mean, they're the biggest, uh, what should we say, the biggest offenders on global warming. Apparently, to fly a group of tourists, American tourists, out to the pyramids to see a pyramid uses as much energy as it would to build a pyramid. Read that on the internet when I was looking up about uh, how many, how much calorific value there is in a, uh, a gallon of fuel. I mean, they use a tremendous amount. They, they go by tons in aeroplanes, tons of fuel. And it's all tax-free. I can see five aeroplanes in the sky at the moment. That's just here without looking too closely. Um, I mean, it's ridiculous, isn't it? People sort of commuting to um, from London to New York on a daily or weekly, but well, I don't know about daily, but weekly basis. Good job, Concord packed up. Else, they would be doing it on a daily basis. Thank mm -hmm. you.